Hello, my name is Leonard and I'm a research scientist in Google DeepMind co-leading GEMAS post training. Today, we're diving into two key stages of large language model training, the pre-training and the instruction tuning. Understanding these will help you decide which GEMA model is right for your project. First up is pre-training. During this phase, the model is trained using cross-entropy loss, meaning we teach it next token prediction on a massive amount of data. During this phase, the model compresses the whole world's information using text and images we feed it into its weights. It implicitly learns representations of the knowledge it is given. Once trained, the model is a next token predictor. Given a piece of text, it will output the next most probable token given everything it has seen during its training. The model then goes through instruction tuning. During this second phase, we turn this next token predictor into an actual chatbot. Using specific data and formatting, we make the model answer the user query rather than just output the next most probable answer. This training phase shapes the model behavior, personality, adopting a helpful and safe persona. We teach it how to reason and answer in ambiguous situations where several answers are plausible. It is trained to follow a wide set of instructions, format its answers in particular ways, like creating a JSON output, writing in different languages, or sticking to a certain paragraph count. So when to use the pre-trained model versus the instruction tuned one? If you need a model that's ready to go, can understand and follow your instructions, answer questions effectively, and is generally more capable in areas like math or coding right out of the box, the instruction tuned model is your best bet. It's designed right for that. Now, what if you want to use fine tuning and you want a model that's specialized for a specific task? If your task aligns well with general instruction following, like creating a specialized Q&A bot, and you're happy using Gemma's existing conversational format, fine tuning the IT model often gives you a performance head start. It's already learned a lot about being helpful. However, if you need a completely different output format that doesn't resemble the conversation, or if your task is very niche and far removed from typical interactions, then starting with the pre-trained model could be a better choice. It provides a cleaner slate, allowing you for more flexibility to shape it for your unique needs without having to unlearn the IT behavior. To illustrate, Imagine that you want to fine tune a model to translate dolphin language to English or generate highly specific scientific data. In that case, you're probably looking for a pre-trained model. One quick technical tip when you start working with Gemma, pay attention to special tokens that control how the model generates text. For pre-trained model, you'll typically use BOS, beginning of sequence token, to start your input and you will know the model is done when it generates EOS, end of sequence token. For instruction tuned models, you will also start with BOS, but you will use specific turn markers to differentiate between user input and the model's response. The generation for IT model stops when the end of turn token is produced and not the end of sequence one. Depending what library you use to run Gemma, this is sometimes handled behind the hood for you, so be aware of that. And there you have it. Whether you choose the powerful pre-trained based model or the helpful instruction tuned version, Gemma offers incredible open source tools for developers. It's time for you to explore, experiment, and build amazing products with Gemma. Mm -hmm.